Hey guys, John here, and uh, it's just uh, a video about a topic that's been going around the community for the past week or, or two, um, about death in RPGs. Um, basically, uh, what I've been hearing a lot of it is, um, should death, should like player character death in an RPG be heroic or should it be, you know, should it only be heroic or should, you know, we start factoring, you know, can they, should they die from traps and stuff. And really, I have to say, really, um, in terms of character death being heroic, I think that's very broad, because uh, it doesn't... Because, I mean, what the think is, you know, we're thinking, you know, the guy's, you know, the paladin's flailing his sword at the dragon, and sadly, um, the dragon eats it, or mauls him, or whatever. Or, you know, dies in a sea of orc soldiers, you know, just swarming on this town, and he kind of dies protected. That's one way of doing heroic. Or heroic could be, um, heroic could be a trap. Um could be, um, maybe, you know, uh, to get the magical crystal ball of, of Morton Kaiden, uh, to spit Paul character out, the PCs that, you know, the one of the PCs has to go up, take it off a pedestal, you know, in the Jones style, and when he does it, you know, maybe a giant boulder crushes him, or a arrow gets picked into his heart, or maybe the orb's actually a spear of, an, spear of annihilation that just destroys him. I mean, yeah, I mean, some of it, okay, the spear of annihilation's a little not heroic, but well, to respect, you know, the mage should have cast detect magic, and the paladin should have been able to detect evil. You know, his aura of good. But, uh, yeah. Um... But yeah, I mean, I think really, uh, in terms, is a death heroic? I think it's more of context than anything. Um, and, okay, so, uh, you know, you want to have a more narrative style story. I mean, even then, people die in, in literature all the time. An example from this, in a more kind of D&D &D way, is... Um, in the Dragonlance series, this is a spoiler if you haven't read it. Actually, no, it's not too much of a spoiler. Uh, actually, two, two of the characters die. One dies a very heroic death, and the other dies kind of uh, an old age kind of death, which wouldn't be quite heroic, but nonetheless, it still happens. It's like that in a game that could actually, you know, you, you could do it in a game, especially if you're doing kind of a really big, hardcore, you know, role-playing type thing. Like, yes, <laughs> my character's got rheumatism. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it could... Yeah, yeah. I mean, above all, I'm not saying... Yeah, I mean, yeah. That works, I mean. Death from traps can be heroic. And another thing, death has to be there. I mean, it's not like you have to take, I mean, only heroic death. I mean, that's just, that's bull. You know, because if you're crawling through a dungeon or adventuring, say, just on a caravan, a trade caravan, there's going to be dangers there. And dangers you would have been briefed on at the start. Yeah. It's just, it's just how it is. I mean, if, and if you can't, if you don't have death, then the game's not a game anymore because if there's no death, if there, I mean, I mean, that's, that's pretty much losing. You know, if you can't lose, you can't win. Or, well, you can, I guess, win, but it's not a win, if you guys get that. But, um, yeah, um, and I guess really also, like, really death and narrative versus kind of simulation really does depend on the game because I mean Dungeons and Dragons when it first came out 
you know, written by Gary Gygax and Dave Artisan. D&D was pretty much very much a simulation game. You live the lives of a fantasy hero. Like, you live in a fantasy world. Okay. This is what you did do. Like, your class is your job. Um, you can get followers. You know, you build a keep. Then you staff it, and you go out get get loot. And that's just how that's just how it was. I mean, then there's other games. You know, there's you know the White Wolf, you know, Vampire the Masquerade games, which are very narrative style, very narrative driven. Which okay, see that see that type of game would be much more understandable if you had just regular. Um, if you just had heroic death, if you just kind of said. You died because of the situation. Then D and D. I mean, D and D. Pretty much. You know, you go into a dungeon. And there's going to be deathly horrors, whether it's death by a monster, death by a trap, or just death by your own stupidity. You know. Um. You know, you walk into a room. There's a pit full of. Glittering gemstones on the bottom. You jump into the pit looking for the treasure. And, oh, oh crap, it's jelly crusted spikes. You're impaled and, de and die. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how many people are going to get that reference. Anyway, and then there's, you know, games like Cyberpunk that are gritty worlds. I mean, Cyberpunk 2020 is like one of the most grittiest prettiest, bloodiest combat systems ever, at least I think, because it's, you know, you take wounds and you, if you take a critical wound, you have to make a death save, and if you're not stabilized, you know, you gotta always keep making the death save, so eventually you'll die, you know, not to mention you can actually die from just shock, you know, that's something that I don't think a lot of RPGs do, especially a lot, a lot of modern games don't do that. Well, it's, you know, it's very real. You know, very real. And it's one reason why that system I love. I love that game. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, death, yeah. Um, just so I can reiterate, I'm a big fan of just... The PCs have to know that they're in danger, you know? And if they're not in danger of... I mean, the, 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 their danger doesn't have to be death, but, I mean, it's really what it comes down to. I mean, even if their danger is, you know, the evil wizard, you know, in the tower. It's like, yeah, well, the evil wizard's gonna kill you. He may not kill you with a sword. He may kill you just with a fireball, but he's still gonna kill you. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's just the evil wizard just wants to torture you and just keep you, and keep healing you and keep you alive. You know, so you can see the world crumble. crumble. God, I'm sadistic. But yeah, I mean, death just has to be there, and whether it's heroic or not, because really, life, we don't go out, in real life, we, we don't go out saying, alright, I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna die out in a hail of gunfire, and bullets, and not, and swords, and yeah, yeah, no, no, we don't do that, well, because we don't live in the Middle Ages, but, uh, you know, even, you know, the gunfire, you don't, we don't do that. You know, we seek to preserve life more than, you know, especially our own life. But yeah, anyway, um, it's a good discussion to have, um, you know, because you see a lot of people's different views on how they run their games. My game, I always try to have death, whether it's trap or a villain or even just stupidity. You know, I've said, okay. Yeah, no, you're dead. You insulted the king. Yeah, he sends his guards after you and he kills you. Then they kill you. Um, what I do do, though, for death, is I always give them a way to bring the players back, whether it's in form of a quest to the uh, the afterlife for the, sh the, the Shadowfell, as they're called in D&D 4th edition. Or, or, um, I have a magic item actually in my game called the Gauntlets of Resurrection, which can bring fallen enemies back to life, however, at a price. It's, you know, it does damage to your life force, because you're basically, you're giving life back, so, 
you can't just give it back, you know, it's gotta go, oh, you know, out from you, and you have to be the conduit, or the wearer of the gauntlet has to be the conduit for that life. Because, you know, I just think, yeah, that makes sense, you know, that's not, her resurrections aren't free, <laughs> you know, you're kind of playing with fate there. But, uh, yeah, um, anyway, yeah, um, oh, Jesus, my map. Oh, my map. Anyway, anyway, I'm John, as always. Uh, please remember to please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to, make a video response. Leave a comment down below. Uh, and happy gaming, and thanks for watching.